Good evening. My name is Crystal and I'm from Musings of a Lightworker and Lightworker Sisterhood. So today I was going through my crystals and I was thinking about Kundalini Awakening and the crystals that can help you with that. Now, before you just jump into doing and working on a Kundalini Awakening for yourself, make sure that you do all of your research because if you prematurely bring one on without being prepared, you're going to be in for a hurricane of an experience and it can have some serious side effects health wise if you aren't prepared for it and do it properly. And it will take more than just crystals to do this. There's different mantras and yoga and, you know, different things that go along with this process. So make sure that you fully do your research and that you are prepared in all of your bodies, your, sub, your subtle body, your mental, your physical, and your spiritual body for this experience, okay? All right, so this is a kundalini awakening is when the serpent that is wrapped around the bottom of your spine, the base of your spine and your root chakra, awakens and rises up through all of your chakras, up and out through your crown chakra, and that's when you are supposed to achieve enlightenment and go through different stages of further awakening. So here are some of the stones that you could do that to wake up that sexual energy and raise it on up. First you're going to want some stones for your sacral chakra and you can use carnelian as one of them. I have found some sets that have carnelian in it that help you with kundalini awakening. Another extremely powerful one is serpentine. So you are supposed to take serpentine and put it at your base chakra and also another piece up at your crown chakra to help move the energy up and through. Tiger's eye is another one that is recommended. Bloodstone. I know this looks really just very green like that serpentine, but it does have red in it as well. Okay, bloodstone is very powerful for getting this energy moving. Red Jasper. Then also we have Kyanites. Kyanite helps get that energy up and moving and awakening the energy for the Kundalini energy to get moving. These are also, you know, like the, um, the Kyanite is a higher vibrational crystal. So this is why it aids in this. Then we also have Moldavites. Moldavite you can put on your third eye to help awaken the energy there. And a very popular one for Kundalini awakening is Shiva Lingam. So you would have somebody say, if you're having somebody assist you in this process, take the Shiva Lingam and start at the base of your spine and work your way up, massaging the energy up, making the energy flow up and out. And of course you can place these on your chakras to help. So like I said, you know, it isn't just the crystals, but the crystals do help to assist in this and you can lay it out on your body, a body layout, or you can meditate with them or have them around your body instead of just directly on your body. But if you do, go to have them on your actual body. Try to find ones that have, say, a flat edge, so that way they don't want to roll off, which is going to be really hard with your Shiva Lingam. This is going to want to roll off, but if you put it sideways, you know, less likely to happen. This is also where somebody else helping you will come in handy. So let me know what you think of this, and have you worked with any of these crystals before, and how do you feel about their energy and the feelings that you get from it or any type of awakening and certain chakras from it or anything that you would like to add to this video? I would love to hear from each and every one of you. 
If you liked this video and you found it helpful and want to share it with your friends, I would absolutely love that. And I thank you from my heart. Sending you love bombs for this. You have a wonderful evening. Bye.